Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for uh, coming back. I looked at the mic as though it was the camera. It's not the camera. Right there is the camera. Hey, um, thanks for coming back. Um, I'm excited. I say um a lot, and I also smack my lips a lot. I've realized that as I've done these things, and it's been really interesting. So, whew. Let's uh, let's get started. We're uh, we're here. This is vlog number two. Uh, as I document through my life, my everything, my journey through uh, mental health and just, yeah, living life. It's a good time. So let's get started. So there will be a lot of background noise in this one. Um, I, I wait till the last second to do a lot of work and it turns out that I need to, um, I need to make a bunch of trophies between now and tomorrow. So we're making a whole bunch of trophies. They're pretty, pretty fun uh, for the Southern Utah Disc Golf Association. But I really should have done them over the last month. But of course, I waited till today to get them done. So I'm gonna be. There's gonna be that weird noise in the background as my cameo is cutting some vinyl. So I can make some trophies. So pretty awesome. So first off, I wanted to say thanks for everybody watching last week's uh, vlog. It was fun to get a lot of responses back. I had a lot of people reach out and like, hey, thanks for sharing this. Um, you got this. You're doing awesome. Uh, I think you're great. Um, there's some more ums right there, isn't there? Crap. How do I get rid of those? Someone teach me how to get rid of the ums in my recordings. It's hard not to say um. So, a lot of people reaching out, a lot of people giving support. I was surprised at the number of people that do the Wim Hof method. I had like five or six people that were like, hey dude, I've been I've been taking those cold showers too. The breathing exercise is great. Um, there's another um. So just everybody count the number of ums that I say and put it in the comments below. And yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, 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 that doesn't count down. <laughs> God, this is difficult for me. Um, I'm just going to embrace it. You know what? Deal with it. Radio broadcasters out there, y'all can deal with it. So, um is okay word to fill. Anyway, I was pretty surprised by that number of people. I was like, God, we should definitely start doing some more. So I've been looking around trying to make it possible to... Maybe we could do some uh, get-togethers here in Southern Utah for some Wim Hoffers. Some Hoffers. Uh... Yeah, that was pretty awesome. I I also had a few people reach out that were like, why would you post this? Um, because, like I said, this is a really easy way for me to get my, emotional, my emotions and my feelings out, which then allows me to check myself and make myself feel better. So, yeah. I don't care if you don't like it. Like I said in the video, if you don't like it and you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I don't care. Uh, this is for me. This is for me to get this out there, and it's pretty pretty nice that way. I'm hoping to just get it out there, one, for my mental sanity, and then two, to help someone. Someone also reached out and was like, dude, I've been feeling these exact same feelings. Like, this is hard. And, you know, this might be a springboard, a stepping stone for someone to better their life and make themselves feel better. So, if you have the opinion that, man, it's hard to do things backwards, that's the way that it needs to go. Looking in a screen here is very difficult to judge which way is which way. It's opposite of what you think. So, anyway, I'm pretty excited. We've got, I've got some pretty cool things going on. I've been, I'm in a better place. Even just a week of doing some therapeutic work, breathing exercises, cold shower therapy, like all of these things, this it's been awesome. I feel like I'm in a better place. I feel like I'm moving in the right direction, doing things that I want to be doing. It was interesting doing with the Wim Hof cold shower. So to go back, I'll try and put in a video of Wim Hof kind of explaining some of the cold showers. Uh, I found a really cool interview with him. He's an interesting character, uh, just to say the least. Uh, so I'll try and splice in a video uh, to give credit to that person as well. So I'll put that in now. 
what happens if you take a cold shower every day? The heart rate is going to go down with 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means stress is gone. This is what we do. It's a hormetic exercising, hormetic stress exercising is a cold shower. Cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. Uh, pretty excited for cold showers. So as I've taken these cold shower immersions and like forced myself into the cold water, it's been awesome. So we'll start off the breathing method. So just doing the breaths, the really deep breaths, 30, 30 deep breaths, and then holding your breath for, for a long time and just kind of going through and really focusing in. It was interesting to find out that I can't hold my breath very long. I am not very good at holding my breath. Uh, yeah, I, I'd i hit like 30 seconds long and be like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And that sucked. And then I realized something. I was focusing too much on time and I was focusing too much on trying to get it right and trying to be perfect at it. That I was holding on to all this stress and baggage and just like anxiety over stuff. So I eliminated those. I stopped thinking about that. I started focusing on just the noises that I could hear. Um, and I tried to decipher all these different noises. There was a fan, uh, usually where I do it, there's a fan going on that I can hear. And there's different pitches that kind of fluctuate throughout the whole cycle of the fan blowing. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and decipher each of those things. Like, okay, that's there's a high pitch, low pitch. Is there a pattern to this thing? Just started thinking about those sounds that I could hear. Are they disrupting other other sounds? What else are they? It was really interesting. And then as I did that, all of a sudden I look at the timer and I've been holding them for like over a minute. And I'm like, oh, I'm awesome. And then as soon as I looked at the timer, I was like, oh God, I gotta breathe. <sighs> it was it was pretty fun that way. So the breathing exercises have been awesome. They've also helped to kind of oh, awaken, uh, bring me wake me up is really kind of the thing. So I do these in the morning, I try and do them in the morning. So I do the breathing exercises and the cold shower in the morning because it wakes me up and gets me going. And I feel like it gets me flowing a little bit quicker. Whereas for the last number of years, uh, four or five years, it's been really difficult for me to get anything done before 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It's kind of sucked. And so being able to, we should probably start picking apart these um, uh, trophies here. This vinyl, I should definitely be picking it apart as I do this thing. But that's hard, and I want to talk to you. I want to actually look at the camera and go from there. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, doing these things in the morning, it's waking, it helps wake me up, it helps get me going. Before, for the last, like, four or five years, it has been so hard for me to do any, to get moving before like 11 o'clock but then by the time I hit 11 o'clock I'm like all right well it's time for lunch so better take a break um, so that sucks uh, whereas now I get to hit a whole bunch of stuff and I get to have a really good time in the morning <laughs> taking care of my kids in the morning taking care of Tian and Ember and helping them early on that's been really awesome for me is creating that sort of mindset early on and getting into the flow of the day and making it happen. Man, this is so hard to like go back with the camera and fix it. I, I shouldn't look at myself in the camera because then I'm obsessing about oh, this weird funky, like this, this piece of hair, stupid hair. Stop it. <laughs> um, I can't control. And these, these ones, Okay, there it is. Man, that is so difficult. Try it sometime. It's weird. Um, but, yeah, so the breathing methods have been great. They've been wonderful. They've been helping me out in that way. And the cold showers, I will tell you right now, y'all should start doing cold showers because it's... Well, let me tell you about it. So the first one, very difficult. It was like, oh my gosh, I was in there 10 seconds. I was not in there very long. And it was very difficult for me. It was so cold that I didn't want to be in there. So I wasn't in there for very long. And then the next one, I kind of got in there. And I think I talked about this one last 
week in the last vlog. I don't remember. But anyway, like the cold water was hitting my back and my neck. And I've been dealing with some pain back here. Uh, some sore muscles and everything. And it was like, oh my gosh, I can't have it in there. You know, it's like almost like, oh, yep, there's the end. There's where I'm injured. Um, and I had to just like get out. And that was weird. And then, like, I had a really couple good showers. And then I had one shower where I got in and I just couldn't stay in the water. It sucked, you know. And generally speaking, like, a good sh good long shower for me is, like, two good long cold showers, like, two, two minutes. Because I put it on the coldest possible setting. Like, it is freezing in there. Um, it's, like, two minutes, three minutes at that. That's, like, the... It's like a long shower, long cold shower for me. Um, anyway, I got in one time and I just was like, this, this is dumb. I hate this. It's cold. I'm miserable. Why am I doing this? This is dumb. Um, so that mind, he starts coming back in there. Um, you're an idiot. Why are you doing this? What are you doing? Uh, and I got back out and I was really kind of shaken by it. Because up to that point, I've been having a great time with this. Like thinking, yeah, this is awesome. This is amazing. I feel great. And now I'm like attacking myself in my mind. Bah, 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 bah. You're an idiot. Bah. Oh my gosh. And that kind of shook me. Kind of made me feel weird. So I uh, asked my, my mom to watch the kids. And I went and I took a drive. And I went out to a uh, on a little tiny hike. It was super small. It was not a big hike. And I kind of got to this point where I was able to sit on this overlook on the edge of this cliff. Not a very big cliff. Yeah. A few people know, the people that know me, like cliffs are, cliff, they, they're not terrifying and you can deal with cliffs, they're fine. Um, anyway, so I was sitting there and I was, and I was investigating, well, why do I, did I not like this one? Why did I not, like, get into the, why was it so hard to be in the shower? So I started thinking about it. And one of the things that Wim Hof always talks about and the idea of these things is embracing the, your inner fire. What's your inner fire? What's your passion? What's, you know, let that inner fire, your heart and your cardiovascular will warm you up if you embrace it if you have passion if you have the mindset to will it to happen and i don't have a passion or an inner fire anymore that that popped into my head i was like yeah you're not passionate about anything like you used to be i mean i love things and I get after things and I work really hard on stuff. But like my purpose and my whole life has been gearing me up toward helping people go outside. That's what I've loved to do. That's what I've always loved to do. And over the last four or five years, I haven't done that at all. Like I've gone through the motions of taking people outside. I have feigned excitement about going outside about going canyoneering and taking this group out and let's go rafting let's go climbing come on you can do this i've i've faked a lot of that like excitement over the last four or five years and i really started thinking about that like well why like what changed in my life in my mind to make me not be passionate about that so i'm sitting there on the edge of this rock and I'm putting out this into the universe. What the heck? What is going on? Why, why am I that not, not happy about this? And basically it just came like I worked through this sort of mental exercise sitting there on, the, on this rock on the edge of this cliff. I was looking for a water glyph. Um, I never found it. Uh, and I just, I came to this realization that that's what I need to figure out. What's my passion? What do I care? What am I passionate about that I can use as my inner fire 
to help me get through these um, cold showers. And keep in mind, cold showers, metaphor for anxiety, for strong emotions, for all of these, what life throws at you, for when that moash in my mind starts screaming, yeah, you're an idiot, you're an idiot, you don't know, nobody likes you, you're an idiot. Like, I need passion to overcome that. I need that inner fire to overcome that, just as you would in a in the cold shower, um, which I think is what the idea of the Wim Hof method is. Is like you're putting yourself in something that is uncomfortable. Water's cold. Like I haven't gotten into the ice baths yet, um, but you're purposefully doing that thing to cause your body to have that like panic moment that hyper hyperventilating like your body is not used to that thing and then you have to overcome that you have to help take your mind into the present focus and get past the cold and start to become one with cold and let the let it kind of take you and so that's i think that's the point of it is strong emotions are going to happen um, feelings are going to happen. Thoughts are going to happen. Someone's going to say something that triggers something within inside of you to start to make you upset. And you have to have a way to focus, look past that. The cold's not not attacking you. It's just there. It's something that you are that you're just a part of you. It's time to work on that fight through with your values, with your passion, and overcome the cold. Overcome those strong emotions. Yeah, I was pretty excited. I felt like I'm so cool. I'm like a philosopher over here. I'm so smart. Uh, and then, yeah, like, no duh. <laughs> um, anybody that has looked at any of the Wim Hof stuff can say, yeah, duh. <laughs> so... Oh, that's such a no-brainer. So dumb. Uh, and I felt like a genius uh, coming to that realization. So, I started investigating. Well, what's my passion? Like, what about those times when I was leading people did I love the most? Like, why did I like to do that? Why did I dedicate so much time, effort, and energy into wanting to help people go outside? And it hit me that I really just want to help people have transformative experience, transformative experiences outside. The outdoors can be so wonderful, whether it's canyoneering, hiking, look, playing at a park, throwing discs around, like whatever it may be, like any of these sort of adventures, activities outdoors, like that's where you can find release and recreation, recreation, you know. Uh, that's what I've liked to do. I like to help people find those moments to be outside and to really, like, focus in and discover themselves. I really like making it to where people can discover themselves and figure out, like, who they are, what they like to do. And I wasn't really getting that out of a lot of those those places so taking taking people out and just taking them from a to b that wasn't very interesting to me and i and i and i shared this insight with my therapist she was like yeah i mean that makes sense that that sounds great but why don't you like to do those things because don't they have a place too and isn't that you know, if maybe it feels like you're just taking from A to B for you, but, you know, how do you know that it's not? Are you even asking those questions? And that was kind of the moment that some things kind of hit me where it was like, yeah, you kind of have to do those difficult things, uh, those things that maybe you don't want to do uh, that have a more lucrative side to them. Yeah, like I'll take tours out. I'll take students out. I'll take these groups out and just let them go and from A to B uh, because they might they might get something out of it. I don't know. I can try what I can to make it happen. Uh, and it might be difficult for me, but 
that's just the cold water. You can overcome it. You can deal with that. And then you can start to enjoy it. Because that was weird. As I've started to dive into this idea of like, well, that's my passion. That's always been my passion and I love it. And I fully invest in taking people outside and helping them have these transformative experiences. This self-discovery in the outdoors. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to have people experience there. And so as I've been thinking about that, I was the next day, um, I was sitting in there, I was getting ready to have my cold shower and I thought, you know what? No, I do a, I do know what I want to do, what I'm passionate about, what I care about. I love to help people find themselves through adventure, through the outdoors, discover themselves, develop themselves through the outdoors. That's everything that I've been about. That's what I've been about. That's what I've been trying to create. That's what I've built at the different places that I've worked at is to try and work towards that. I had just forgotten that. And I had just, my, my inner fire had turned down into this like smoldering little, um, this, just this tiny little bit and it had kind of been smothered away smothered away but like shoot i know how to start a new fire especially if i've got a semi-warm coal i can get a fire going with no problem um and so i started you know i started thinking and picking through and i started looking at like what did i like to do what what areas are going to help me fulfill my passion what's going to make that happen so started the blog again we started the um this has been really helpful. My brother-in-law and I are starting a podcast here really soon that is all about just the fun, weird, small adventures that you can go on. Uh, we'll be posting that soon. It's going to be a good time. Um, and just re relating those things. But then I thought, yeah, but I really want people to, I like taking people outside. Um, and I thought about this book that I've been reading, the You Are a Badass. Oh man, who is that by? I don't remember. I'll try and uh, figure it out and I'll link it down below. Um, but You Are a Badass is the title of it. And it's awesome. And it's one of the things that she points out in it is you have to accept, like you, the only thing stopping you from living the life that you wanna live is you. Like, you're choosing to not accept the great things that are around you. The universe, or God, or the spaghetti monster, whatever you believe, whatever belief you have in in the world, um, science, whatever, uh, the earth, everything's good. You have the things around you to help make yourself better. Just do it. You just have to accept that. And start to work towards it. And start to take a hold of it. Like, And so I started thinking about that. I'm like, well, is there really? like, I've been trying my hardest to find happiness and do all these things. And it hit me that like, no, I have plenty of opportunities to do these things. I, I have all these connections. I have all these people that want me to be successful. They want to be successful in their business and have a good time. I just have to like actually choose to be a part of it. You know, I can't, I can't run away from these entities, these organizations, these businesses, because I'm a little worried about my anxiety. It's a cold shower. You have to get in. Look, you have to get in there and you have to take this opportunity to adjust and acclimatize to the cold shower. And then it becomes your friend. Then it becomes your your ally it starts to benefit you it starts to heal you uh that's what these cold showers that's what this stuff all does it starts to heal you mentally physically emotionally like all of these things start to build up and make yourself better you slowly can stay in the shower longer you can breathe better your heart rate lowers which is really good for america heart problems are a big problem right now and have been you know, so fixing your cardiovascular system would be wonderful. You know, your immune system improves. Like all of these things start to happen because you're less stressed out. You've lowered yourself down. You've brought yourself down. It's pretty interesting. Um, to say the least, I 
think I'm working on finding that inner fire, that passion, my values again. And I, they've been there the whole time. They never went away. I just let them, let that fire kind of die out uh, for a little bit. And that, that sucked. That sucked to realize that like, hey, you did this yourself. Uh, nobody did it. Nobody did it. It wasn't, you know, a particular place that I was working or anything like that. It just, I grew into this calloused punk that didn't want to do the things that I knew would bring me happiness. So, yeah. So I'm working on that. So what am I working on? Where am I creating it? Like, I love development through adventure. That's what I love. People can grow. People can develop. People can learn about themselves, discover something new while on adventures. Um, and I don't define a f adventure in any real sense of the wor word of like, it has to be a giant rappel or you have to go climb this mountain peak or you have to bike 856,000 miles to, before you reach your adventure badge. Um, no, adventure can be for anybody. Um, it's a subjective term. If I've sat inside my entire life, walking down the street might be quite an adventure. Um, so adventure really is up to you. And that's what I'm passionate about. I want people to find adventure, find happiness, find development, and find their self through adventure. I'm pretty excited about this journey. I've been I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, I've really hit a ton of really cool things. And so, yeah, that's a good time. I, I hope that you all can uh, find yourself through adventure. If you want some advice, feel free to reach out, ask a question, you know, how, what adventure should I go on? Where can I go? What can I do? Uh, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal to start down this path of rede rediscovering myself um, through adventure. I mean, these cold water, if you're interested in doing some cold water stuff, yeah, it's, let's do it. You know, get after it. Find, find a cold body of water and just go in it. Take a cold shower once a day. Uh, that's been awesome. I've thoroughly enjoyed that moment. And I think that's the main point of a lot of my therapy has been Let's figure out, like, accept that you're going to have strong emotions. You're going to have these moments where your mind is going to basically, like, attack you and tell you all sorts of nasty things. Uh, you're going to have emotions well up, and you're going to have these things happen. You're going to have thoughts. You're going to have these different physical um, problems. Like, you have to accept what the universe is putting out there you accept that they're there and then discover your values discover your passion and commit to action and make things happen uh the universe then blesses you for those things and things end up a lot better for you if you know your values know yourself and then go and do what you need to do to make that happen uh that can be scary. That can be like jumping into an ice bath. You know, that's, it's hard. That's very difficult to do sometimes. That's not the easiest path to take. But it's worth it. You know, I'll see you in a week. I'll let you know how it, how this next week goes as I've taken steps to pursue my passion to pursue my values, to pursue that inner fire, make it happen. Uh, I'll kind of end that thought on this morning, my cold shower. I got lost in my cold shower. All of a sudden, I had been in there. I could feel my legs were like on the verge of wanting to start shivering. So I was like, oh man, my core temperature has dropped. And now I'm at the point of like, no, my body needs me to, my, my body needs me to physically get out. Oh, I hope that's still recording. Oh boy. I don't know if that, hopefully that's still recording. I don't know if that like stopped. Uh, 
my screen just shut off there for a second. So hopefully, hopefully it still worked. But like I physically had to get out because my body was like, yeah, no, 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 you're reaching a, a cold, like too low of a core temperature time for you to get out. It wasn't like a mental thing. It wasn't like a, oh, that's chilly. I can't do it. It was a like, you've been in here and your body is telling you it's time to get out. Uh, and it had been six, seven minutes, you know, which doesn't seem like very long, but when you're in an ice cold freaking shower, yeah, that's, that's a good time. <laughs> um, and that was awesome, you know, because here I was just the a day or two before where I couldn't be in there for more than like 30 seconds. Like it sucked. And now I just shattered my previous long, like two and a half, three minutes by doubling that time, which was really cool to experience. And so taking committed steps, taking committed action to find your values, to pursue your passion is a huge point um, and a huge benefit to everybody. It's healthy to everybody. It's healthy to you, yourself. It's healthy to those in, that you have relationships with, your, the society around you, the groups that you associate with. The more that you're passionate about something, the better off everybody is around you because you're going to be doing good things, um, which is pretty awesome to hear. So anyway, let me know down down below. What is your your next adventure? What's your passion? What do you care about uh, that helps guide you through strong emotions, through physical problems, through whatever it may be? What are your passions down below and how are you pursuing them? Uh, yeah, pretty awesome stuff. So please like, subscribe, share this, all of those different things to help out uh, because, yeah, I want to start growing and building this thing because, like I said, the goal is someone, someone might see this and they might need this. That's what I want. I'm... Last week, I had a couple people that were like tried to pity me. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not doing this for pity. I'm doing this to my mental health. And so that someone out there who might see this and might need this, you know, it could come across to them. So thanks so much, everybody. Y'all are awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next adventure.